I just got some vision here we'll go through. So we've left the deepest, which is really good. So arch, yeah. you can, you've almost, you can almost just slide down onto him. And then allow Harzi to squeeze back into the hole. Okay. Yeah, cuts, watch cuts when cuts goes. So obviously you see Archie's block, Harzi's great kick and lead. He's already gone. So that, see the anticipation? This is the anticipation we need in the game. We need to be able to read it, a play ahead. Once again, it's a great kick, great lead, great block. It's great play. What we took out of the game against Freo was more that from a forwards perspective, we started to get some really nice patterns and, and looks um, going inside 50. Uh, it's nice when you have 65 inside 50s. We haven't had that uh, for quite a while. So the mids group, defenders and, and high forwards did a really good job in, in um, giving a lot of looks to us. Um, but I think the ability to continue to work as a group together, really young down there, so um, understand chemistry and little patterns and movements by each individual player. Um, but also getting a really good contest and when the ball hits the ground we can get enough pressure and, um, and tackling that the ball stays in there for a bit longer. Block it or get in and then get out. Yep, get in, get out, clear that space and we'll actually have that whole thing open for the hippie to come into. Yep, defence, squeeze hard both ways. Um, once again, really good. We probably, a couple of times we could have got into a little bit better positions um, defensively, taking out their inside 45 kicks. Rightio, some uh, real positives. Really good. And we just caught up for our forwards meeting from the game. There was a fair bit of content. We went through um, a few growth areas first, um, but then some real positives that came out of the game, which we sort of already touched about with our, um, our pattern staff and um, some of our contest work in the forward line. Um, but we're probably at a stage at the moment with our forwards that, because they are so young, it's all about the development and the teaching side of it. So we're, we've got to spend a fair bit of time with them so they can understand the game and what patterns we need. But it was a really positive meeting, so it's, it's always obviously easy to be positive when you win by 57 points, nearly 10 goals. So um, no, they, were, they did a great job and it was really good to get a lot of feedback from them and um, making sure they're engaged through the whole process of it. And what we back, 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 bang, just come back at it. Don't get too wide on the lead though. Yeah, we don't want to get to the other side. We want to still keep it within this, this section. So wait for him. There you go. Middle, 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 middle. Yeah, Frosty! When you move players from one position to another, it's always just about trying to develop them in a different area. Um, continual improvement for the group. We, we saw an opportunity that, that a couple of players might benefit from playing a couple of different positions. And um, on the weekend, it, it paid off really well. So with cuts going a bit more wing and forward, uh, still with the ability to go back if we need it. And it's really important that you've got players in your team that are that flexible to play across three lines. And, and the same with Harzi, he can play a bit more forward on the weekend, um, can go inside and can go back as well if we need him. But um, it gave us a little bit better balance and uh, we're really happy with both, both players' performances. Hold, wait for him, wait for him, wait for him. There you go. Yep. Kick it quick, Maisie. If you know where he's leading, you put him in the space and he'll come into it, yeah? So training today, it's a bit wet outside, so it might be a little bit of ball on ground, but um, it'll be pretty low key. It's more of a touch, get the legs rolling again after a couple of days um, post game. We'll do some, some hand stuff early, uh, make sure we get our pattern stuff again, inside 50, um, chemistry with our forwards. Um, if you finish off with some goal kicking, which um, has been a real positive for the group so far. We're, when the ball's coming in and we're getting looks, we're actually kicking, kicking pretty straight, so um, it's been a real positive for us this year.